On Saturday the 13th, the Guam Greyhound Park in Tamuni is going to be rocking for a very long time as there's going to be a concert you do not want to miss. Ten hours of music featuring off-island and local bands. Matt Skrow is here from Midpack and he's going to tell us all about it. Matt, what do you got going on? Yes, um, so July 13th, Saturday at um, Guam Greyhound is going to be by far the biggest music festival concert Guam has seen in uh, Guam Live. It's a new concept brought to you by Tropical Productions and Miller Lite. It's going to be over 10 hours of non-stop entertainment. We're going to have um, some of the best local bands on island. We're going to have four off-island bands. Uh, just to name a few is um, Laddie Vibes, Sean McGoffin Band, um, Through the Roots, and the um, ever so popular, especially nowadays, is the Mighty Mellow Massive. Mm -hmm. So with all those, we're also going to have comedy. We're going to have a, a beer garden, a wine garden, and um, some, just some non-stop entertainment for 10 hours. Um, I know some people might think, oh, it's just a regular concert, but something like this on this scale has never been done before on Guam, where it's just um, constant entertainment throughout the entire day. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a little bit like Lollapalooza? Uh, something arts. like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that, where we're just showcasing more of the local talent. And then um, a, one thing um, to note is that all the off-island bands somehow have um, some roots towards the Marianas or mm -hmm. Guam, whether it be one band member, two band members, but um, each one of these uh, bands have uh, some tie back to Guam, which is why, which is what Guam Live is all about, mm -hmm. just enriching the talent of our local community. Okay, so since it goes on for 10 hours, when do you guys start and how late does it go? Because that, that's kind of key, because you know, some, <laughs> some people get to play you know, when, when the sun is up and that can make for some interesting situations. Some people play like right at sunset, which yeah. You know, if they're playing slower songs, obviously is yeah, amenable um, to couples. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything will start at uh, 3 p.m. That's when doors open. And right when doors open, that's when the music starts playing. Again, before our off-island bands come, we have some of the most talented um, artists on Guam, uh, such as the Dole House, the DJ uh, Huber Experiment, um, the, um, uh, what's that called? Um, let's see, just a lot of, mm -hmm. of uh, off-island bands and good local bands as well. Mm -hmm. Man, so, the, so can people expect the music to be like maybe categorized like all you know the, like maybe the groups to get into more traditional reggae all play back to back to back or is it pretty much like staggered out so like if you actually go there and stay for the whole thing you're gonna see a variety of music well that's the good thing about guam live is it's not um just a reggae concert it's not just a rock concert or a hip-hop concert it's a wide variety of uh, entertainment throughout the day so we have a rock band a reggae band, island band, um, all the off-island bands have different types of genres. So it's going to be a lot of fun and something that uh, Guam has never seen or has uh, experienced before. Now, how hard was it to put all that together? Because I mean, <laughs> you guys do big productions and you know, like the scale and scope that uh, Midpack and Tropical Productions, you know, like blows everybody else on the island away. Um, either, you know, attending the concert or, you know, just putting it together. But how are the logistics of actually handling a 10 hour festival? Um, it's a lot of logistics. Uh, we have a great team at uh, Tropical Productions and Midpack as well. Um, just everyone's been working on it constantly. We're always trying to find ways, uh, new things to bring to the island that we haven't done, uh, such as the Heineken Rugby, the Electronic Island Festival, and now Guam Live, uh, some of the bigger events that we've done in the past year. So that's the great thing about Tropical Productions. Um, we're always trying to bring something new to the people of Guam. Mm -hmm. Are there any spots open, like if people are watching this and they're like, you know, we've got like a little band of our own or you know um we're actually doing a competition there's one slot open from another local band um all you got to do is check out the guam live uh, facebook mm -hmm. and then um, all the instructions are there of how to how to join uh, i think you just need to post your youtube video of your band and you automatically get a chance to to win it's all about likes and shares so um check out guam live on facebook very cool you know, yeah. yo, youtube can work for you ladies and gentlemen <laughs> it worked for arnell from journey so it can yeah. work for you too all right matt thanks thank thanks you as always man good luck that's a that's a good show all right, my friends, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend. Good night.